God tells us in Deuteronomy 6, verses 6 through 7, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Scripture Memory Fellowship's mission is to help Christians around the world memorize God's Word systematically. The SMF Android app puts your memory verses in the palm of your hand and makes it easy to review them anywhere at any time. Once you've installed the app for the first time and logged in, the next step is to add a memory book, which can be done by swiping in from the left-hand side of your screen and selecting Verses, or simply by tapping your verses on your home page. From here, we'll tap Add a Memory Book, and then select Choose a Category. This allows us to browse the memory books that are available by age or by topic. In this case, I'll look at the basic adult books. In this case, we see that there's only one, Let There Be Light. If we'd like more information on that book, we can tap More Information. See the cover image, a description of the book, as well as a list of all of the lessons that correspond to that memory book. If at this point I'd like to go ahead and download it, I'll tap Select in the bottom left part of the screen specify my favorite translation and then again in the lower left add book. I'm then taken back to the My Verses page and I can see that this memory book has been added to my library. You can tap any book to open it which takes you to a list of each lesson in that memory book. You can also view the book's introduction by tapping the introduction tab in the navigation bar near the top of your screen. When you open an individual lesson, you'll be shown a list of all of the verses in that lesson and be able to view that lesson's study notes from the Lessons Notes tab in your navigation bar. To work on a specific memory verse, just tap it to view the verse text. And from this screen, you'll have access to study notes on this specific verse and application questions that help you put the Word of God into action. The goal as you work on each lesson should be to recite all of the verses in that lesson from memory to a designated hearer. Once you've accomplished this, you can tap the Memorized box in the lower left portion of your screen. As you memorize, you'll be awarded points that you can use to redeem for free reward items from Scripture Memory Fellowship. And although I don't have enough points for a reward just yet, I can navigate back to my home page and choose which reward I'd like to work towards. From here, I'll tap Click Here to choose your next reward, and I can see a list of all of the rewards that we now have available. I'm interested in Charles Spurgeon's checkbook of the Bank of Faith, so I'll tap Select. And then by coming back to the home page, I can see my selection and monitor my progress toward this reward. Of course, there are a number of additional features and settings you may want to explore, like increasing or decreasing the font size of your memory verses, which you can do under the Profile tab on the menu bar. I'll also mention that if screen rotation is enabled on your device, you can use the app in landscape mode by turning your device on its side at any time, which might be helpful if you're working with a smaller screen. Well, that covers the basics of getting started with the SMF app. Certainly, we hope you'll contact us with any questions or problems you may have, which you can do by tapping the Help button on the menu bar. Our prayer is that this app will enable you to memorize God's Word even more effectively, and in the words of Paul in Colossians 3.16, that the Word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord.